I understand there was a gap in the market. The question is, what has that got to do with Bulgari, your jewelry and watchmaking company? Well, that gap in the market was identified uh, by the Bulgari customers primarily. They were, you know, they were surveyed and questioned, and Bulgari had the same feeling. They felt that there was an opportunity to create something that was contemporary, luxurious, and Italian, and uh, that would have perfectly translated the values of the brand into into the hotel product. Bulgari acknowledged that they were not into the business of hotels, so they had the vision, they knew what to do, they knew what, was, uh, what would, could have enhanced the value of the brand, uh, but they knew they also needed uh, solid partners that were experts in their fields, uh, that had the right know-how to do that project together and be successful. So Ritz-Carlton, who's a, you know, a leader in the world in terms of uh, luxury hotels and service, and Citerio, who really uh, reflects the same culture that Bulgari has of being a contemporary Italian luxury uh, designer. Do all of the members of staff wear Bulgari uh, clothing or say watches? Do they smell of Bulgari perfume? Um, they, you know, uh, everybody has, wears a Bulgari pin and, um, and uh, some of uh, the staff wears a Bulgari watch. Uh, we have Bulgari jewels uh, on the reception. Uh, we have in few areas, uh, guest facing uh, staff uh, wear some kind of uh, identification. What about Bulgari service? How will I find that in the hotel? I like to think of Bulgari choosing precious stones and well, my job is to choose precious people. And uh, those precious people, then we can instill the craft and the, the craftsmanship in them. I'm trying to imagine a complaint in, a, in the Bulgari restaurant. Waiter, waiter, there's a precious gem in my soup. They wouldn't want the person to choke uh, because I, the, I don't think they would leave it in the soup for very long. <laughs> Put it in his pocket. <laughs> Probably in the pocket. They'd be pleased to find it. Whether it's under a pillow or in the soup, I think they'd be very pleased to find the precious stone. We talk about moving from product to experience. I find that a little hard to understand. When we say experience, don't we just mean service? If we think about customer service that you might deliver at the boutique, if we think about after sales service, we are still speaking about a service that is attached to a product. So we have the tangible part, the product, plus the service. When we move into the, the so-called experiential luxury, we are thinking about completely different businesses, like hospitality, like spa, like luxury travels. It's, it's really another industry. Where do you draw the line? Where do you set the, the line of what makes sense and what's a fantasy? It's very subjective. Uh, you need to know very well your brand value. You need to know who you are, uh, going back to your history and try to understand if you will be credible in the project that you would like to do. In the Bulgari Hotel, it's very clear that the partnership with Ritz-Carlton is what makes it work. They're buying in that expertise. When we're talking about these, these partnerships, how can we make sure that they work, that it's the right fit? What I really find very interesting of the Bulgari experience is that they decide to set up a joint venture, means a new company where both of them has really put the money on the table and put also share expertise and competencies. I would say that there are three key principles that we can mention. First of all, you need to know very well your brand value, who you are, which is your DNA, what what are you very good at, which is your history, your heritage. So you need to know yourself very well. And the second point, the new business, whatever will be, should be part of your family. What I mean, should be a real business, not a PR exercise. But you should think about that business to stay in your offering for a quite long term. It should be another part of the family and of, of your portfolio. And the very last one, you need to put money on the table because if you make investment, really you commit yourself in the project, there will be higher probability of success.